What's up party people and what's up mom? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jen and I'm a full-time reseller online and I went to the bins again and I think I'm going to try and go every day this week. But now that I say that, I'm probably not going to. <laughs> Monday, first day of the week. And by every day of the week, I mean Monday through Friday. Um, this is from yesterday. It's Tuesday and I did go today as well. But um, yesterday's trip, here it is. It's 78 pounds at $1.49 per pound. That's here in Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, I paid $116.22 for all the stuff you're about to see. So it's going to be a long one. I have four big old Ikea bags here. So let's start with accessories and let's just jump right on it. I'll start here. Um, this is a Vera Bradley bag. It is new with tags, which is exciting. I just saw this and threw it in the cart. And then when I looked later, I realized that it's like Mickey Mouse themed. That's cool. So I didn't look it up. <laughs> that is um, a theme generally with me but it has two zips on the front it does say Vera Bradley here at the bottom it's a crossbody adjustable strap so cute and it has Pluto too that I'm just noticing how cute that's awesome I don't know how much this will sell for maybe 40 since it's new with tags maybe more I don't know okay moving on this one is a shoulder bag. This one is Dooney and Burke, if you can say, or if you can see that. I think this is like giraffe print. Dooney and Burke. It has this little Dooney and Burke doodad there. You just flip this bad boy open. And yeah, it is authentic Dooney and Burke. The inside is pretty clean but it does have some pin marks the way that you know Dooney and Burke is authentic or not is this guy right here on the inside now I'll have the uh, not style but the serial number it does look like oh I was gonna say it looks like it had a crossbody attachment but it doesn't I think that just attaches your keys or something and wrist and but yeah, this Junie and Burke is a good find at the bins. And it looks like the sides have little snaps there so you can change the look of the body or of the bag of the body. The exterior does have some markings as well, if you can see that, but nothing too wild. This one I got based off of style. It reminded me of Patricia Nash, um, but it's not Patricia Nash. It's Montana West is what it's called, but it's this beautiful tooled leather studded crossbody bag. It has multiple different compartments on the inside. This is what the brand looks like. I didn't even look this one up. I just got it based off of style. Um, so I'll have to look up comps, but this is in really great shape, honestly. Uh, the only wear is somewhere on the crossbody straps here, but they're still good. They have a zip in the back and a slip pocket. It's an adjustable crossbody strap. Really cute. I like it. Let's keep going with the bags. So this one is a Jessica Simpson bag, just a shoulder bag, nothing crazy, just a big bucket, like dump everything in there, bag. There it is. Let's see, any more bags? Yes, a couple more. <laughs> this one is the sack, right there. This is like a metallic shoulder one. Uh, so we have silver, we have like a taupey color, and the back is the taupey color as well. 
inside is pretty good. There's the sack as well. This will sell for probably 20 to 30, something like that. This is the last purse. And I don't know if I know this brand or not. I can't remember, but that's the brand. If you can read that. B. Mikowski. This is a heavy duty bag here. It's leather, it's yellow, and uh, I looked it up and they seem to be doing decently, so I got it. <laughs> I don't remember what the comps were because this was yesterday, <laughs> but yeah. B. Mikowski. Um, I got a hat. This just needs some reshaping, but it's like a little sun hat with these two pom-poms on the front. It's just H&M, but I think a buy, sell, trade store would love this. So I'm just going to kind of steam this if I, if I can. I'm going to give her a whirl and see if we can reshape that. Okay, shoes. I didn't get very many shoes. I've been going more into the clothing bins recently as opposed to shoes. But these are Allegria, and these are just a black, oopsie, Mary Jane, I don't know, comfort shoe. These are a size 38. And then I found these Allegrias as well. These ones are a size 39. And these Allegrias will sell around 40 or more. I can't remember. I got some boots. I like me some boots from the bins. These ones are Dan Post. And I did look them up at the bins because I couldn't remember if Dan Post was decent. It was. Um, these are a size eight and a half made in Spain. And they do have some wear on them, but they kind of just look lived in, and that's kind of cool to me. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay. I got some Birkenstocks. I threw these back and then reconsidered um, and grabbed them again. These are like the slingback kind of Birkenstock. These are a size 6. And, uh, yeah, here's the other one. Bottoms aren't that bad. These will probably sell for, I don't know, 40, 30 or 40. I'm hoping I'm going to condition the leather and they'll look a lot better. Okay, last pair of shoes. These are, I think you pronounce that Nout, Nout. I have no idea. I have no idea. These are a size 38 and these are like brand new. These are just a cute little, like an Oxford, I don't know. I don't know what these are called. But they're really cute. They're leather, they're brown, little heels. Okay, done with one Ikea bag. Let's move on. This is the first thing that I found when I walked in. So that was a good sign. Oh, where is it? I don't know. Patagonia. <laughs> right there. Size medium. I think this is definitely an older Patagonia. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing the inside Patagonia tag. But it's a purple women's size medium vest. Purple on the front, navy on the back with a zip. So it could be like some sort of running vest. Well, that was exciting. Oh, I found a bunch of American Eagle this day, yesterday. So these are the Curvy Mom Jean in a size 8. American Eagle, black, mega high rise, loose fit mom jean, like it says. Some of these I might have to try on just because. Just because. <laughs> 
these next few dresses I debated I actually put them back and then I decided to grab them I'm gonna do thread up again I'm gonna give it a whirl and I'm gonna send them some dresses so we'll see how they do this is Danny and Nicole size 6 this is a really cute dress I just don't know the brand I think those are I don't know, roses or something my mom will tell me but it's a really cute pleated, pleated, pleated fit and flare dress. So cute. This is perfect for spring. And then the back has like a little cut out there. Sexy kind of, you know. This one had a Ross tag attached to it. I just took it off. It's Ronnie Nicole size 10. This is another really pretty color for right now. It's like this little flutter sleeve mini dress. And it's new with tags so yeah off to a thread up and this one too this one's also new with tags uh, cedar and gold size large and this one is oops <laughs> a long sleeve floral dress like a knee length and it has this ruffling at the front and it continues in the back okay oh this is like the weirdest um, free people tag I've ever seen this one's size 4 it's probably just really old size 4 but it's this tank top fully embroidered tank top Oops. oh that's not embroidery that's just written words on there I guess and then here's the back it's got this little cross thing oh yeah three people at the men's okay this is Volcom men's size 31 shorts short season is here and these will probably go to a buy sell trade store or consignment i'll do consignment first because they pay me more and if they don't take it then you know michael kors these are for red up size eight we have this little medallion here and they're just a skinny leg slim leg pants a little medallion on the back Under Armour, size XL. This is a quarter zip pullover. Some more shorts, American Eagle. These are the high rise midi in a size two. Let me button them at least for you. High rise midi. These sell so quick for 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Plus shipping or free shipping. I can't remember what I normally do. I have an itch. Okay. Hopefully that fixed that. <laughs> these are Hudson. Uh, these are a size 26. So they're a smaller size. They're a double button. Dark wash. Flare or a boot cut maybe. They have the flap pockets in the back. Ooh, this is Athleta, size large. This is a linen jacket. It's full zip, yeah. Full zip jacket, linen. It is kind of heavy. Yes, 100% linen. It came out in 2018. Oh yeah, blue linen jacket. We like linen right now. We love linen right now. I found an Iron Maiden shirt doesn't really say where it's from maybe somebody tore it out but Iron Maiden and it's well I guess I could wear it super oversized but I don't think I will I'll just list it it does have some holes in the bottom there or maybe I'll give it to buy sell trade who knows I'll probably just list it best of the beast 
I was trying to read what it said down here, but I can't really tell, like, if it has a year. Oh, 2001. Does that make it vintage? Because that's 20 years ago. Anyways. Here you go. I got some bras this trip. This one is the Plunge, size 36C. This neon pink, hey girl, bra with push-up. So there you go. This is Adidas size medium. Anyways, it's just a full zip track jacket. Yes. The stripes on the side, which we like. This is so cute. I'm not one to like pick up Puma or seek it out, but here it is. Puma size medium, leopard print, half zip pullover. It says Puma right there. It's got pockets. How cute is this? It's oversized for a medium. It's got a little tie at the bottom here. I love that. Here is, I searched and searched and searched, but the tag is ripped out. <laughs> But if you can look here, it's an aloe. Oopsie. If you can look here, <laughs> it's aloe. And I'm gonna call it a size medium. Tank top. And it's semi-sheer. And yeah, it's got kind of like a metallic thing there. This will probably go 25 or 30. Who knows? Not I. Some more jeans. These are another American Eagle. These are a button fly. The Tom Girl, size eight regular. I'm really hoping I'm an eight. If I am, then I get a bunch of jeans. Last I checked, I was a 10 though, so we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. These are really cute. I like these. However, I'm a 10, or I'm eight or 10 long, and these are all regulars, so. Anyway. Next. We got a Joe's jean. And these are size 32 curvy boot cut. Dark wash. I guess that's a boot cut. I don't know. Yeah, a little. Jean. Jean. Okay. Done with two bags. Okay, so these ones I got specifically for the consignment store. I thought they were cool. They're just Liz Claiborne. They're a size six regular. But look at the style of these jeans. They're high-waisted. They've got the V that I think is kind of cool. Pockets, super high-rise, kind of like a straight leg. Whoever had these cuffed the bottom. And then they don't have pockets on the back, but they've got a pleat. So I thought this was kind of cool style-wise, and I hope they fill my drift when <laughs> I take them there, because I don't know how I'd be able to sell those. Here's American Eagle again. These are men's big mama jamas, 44-32. They're called the Slim Jeans. Jeans. <laughs> Lots of jeans. Ooh, you guys. Pendleton, size six. Wool coat. So thread up is only sending two like expedited listing boxes per month. The rest are, can take up to eight weeks. So the ones that I order that can take up to eight weeks, that's two months. I put stuff like this in it. Because in two months, people will be like, oh, fall. And then they'll be buying coats. Anyways, here is a NASA hoodie. This one's just from H&M. And it's a U.S. small. It's a men's size small. And it has a big old NASA on the back. I like Manasseh hoodies. So I grabbed it. This is so cute. It's new with tag. Band of the Gypsies. I don't know if that's anything crazy. Size small, but it's a jumpsuit. It's 
the jumpsuit. I would say it's more of like a swim cover up because I can see you guys through these <laughs> through these pant legs. It's uh, lined up to here, but cute. I love that. Okay, this is Columbia size extra small pink full zip fleece. We find these all the time, all the time, all the time. I just get the ones that are in good condition and I prefer the ones with the hood, which I also found one. So stay tuned. <laughs> this is made well, size extra small, but this is oversized. Look how cute this heart print sweater, the balloon sleeve for darling. And um, it is nylon wool alpaca elastane, and it came out in holiday of 18. So a couple of years ago, but that is so cute. Okay, this is just an American Eagle size large. I really like this color. It's a sweatery, a lightweight sweater. I don't know, probably won't sell until the fall. That's okay. I found a Lulu Lemon Swiftly green one, size six, long sleeve. Swiftly, pretty sure it was a size six. Yeah, yes, a size very nice. 25, 30 bucks, maybe. Let's see more jeans. Ooh, these I got based. Oh, these aren't the ones I was thinking. These are the curvy mom jean, size eight. I'd have so many jeans if I'm a size eight. Look at these. They're ripped. They're destroyed. They're ripped. They're destroyed. Look at the pocket. They're ripped. <laughs> They're destroyed. I got rips on the back too. Yes. Oh, I thought I saw a stain. I'm just really hoping. Maybe uh, it's the length. The length is what I'm worried about. If not, I can sell all these real fast. Here's another consignment men's short. I don't know what this is, but they're shorts and they have little anchors on them. Size 30, Hudson and Borrow Gentlemen's Outfitters. This is a Madewell sweater, size extra large. It's really pretty green turtleneck. I wanna say I have something very similar, if not this exact same sweater. Extra large, holiday 19. There's, it's a wool blend, just like the other one. Really, 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 really pretty. I like it. Okay. Oh, uh, we got a big old mamma jamma. This is a robe. A robe. But it's from Pottery Barn and it's new with tags. So, Pottery Barn. I'm wondering what size. I mean, it's a robe. Oh, it says large. Size large rope. And it has a P on it. I hope that was standing for Pottery Barn. And it does have some pulls too. Like here. I'll just note that. New with defects. But it came with the strap. It is heavy, yes. But it's new with tags Pottery Barn. So Pottery Barn has a following. So does this brand. It's called Dell of Norway. This one sells for a lot, uh, but this one does have some staining on the front. I'm not even going to try and get that off, to be honest with you. I'm just going to hope. Oh my gosh. Never mind. I'm just saying that it has a hello. <laughs> Big old hole. It was just wishful thinking. Well, that is a Bolo brand, and it does have a really cute star on the back. <laughs> but 
uh, yeah, that needs to be redonated, unfortunately, or garbage. One of the seven. Okay, these are Eileen Fisher Garnet Heel Sleepwear. So small. I only found the bottoms. I didn't find the tops. I actually did find a green, like a olive green sleep top, same Eileen Fisher Garnet Hill thing, but it was like bleached. Okay, now we have a kid's Nike. It's a size large. Just a hoodie. Just a hoodie. I was hoping this was Johnny Was, but it was not. So Kimmy and Ken, Urban Outfitters, size large. If I can show you this tag. Kimmy and Ken, anyways. It's a white, which is always terrifying. I say that every time at the bins, but it's a really pretty embroidered top. This I got based off style. I think this is um, maybe the Target junk food line. I don't know. It's an extra small, but it has lightning bolts all over it. It's a cropped sweatshirt. It's an oversized extra small. Could even fit up to a medium and still be a little oversized. I'm not sure if I'm quite a medium yet. Oh, these are the ones I got based off style. So these are Express, which I don't generally buy. These are the Mom Jean Super High Rise for regular. Look at that high rise. It's distressed. These feel brand new, like they've never been worn or washed. They've got this cute fraying at the bottom. Again, super high rise. Yeah, I like those. Ooh, bed brand. Oops, you dropped it. Size medium. That was an exciting find. And they're just like a straight leg work pant, as bed brand is. They got pockets in the front and the back, functional pockets. It's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. It's uh, the leading lady. Don't know that brand. <laughs> it's a 52 F brassiere. So you poor thing. You're back. Must really love you. But anyways, that's a bra. Okay, we're done with this second bag, or the third bag. Last one. This looks fun. Oh, this is Torrid, size 4, which is a 4X. And I think this is either a tunic or a mini dress. So I'll have to look it up. But this is cute. It's florally, it's yellow, it's flowy, cute. This is going to be a while till I list, probably. I'm going to put it in my fall, winter, maybe. I don't know. I haven't decided. But it's Roxy. It's a size large. And it doesn't look like it's been worn at all. But it's a southwestern print cardigan. Maybe I'll list it now just because it gets cold at night in the summer. So you need a cardigan. This is going to thread up. It's BCBG Max Azria size large leather jacket. And thread up likes this brand and it sells for a lot. So I snatched her up, threw it in the cart, and let's hope she can sell it. And by she, I mean thread up. This is Life is Good, size large, yes. And uh, it says, doggone on the front. <laughs> it's just a cute little graphic t-shirt. It has a little Life is Good guy on the back. 
nothing crazy, 25, 20. This I got based off style too. Baby, baby, I don't know. It's strapless little number. Hello, lacy overlay, size medium. This is so sexy that somebody's gonna buy that and look amazing. Here's the one with the hood I told you about. This is Columbia size medium. This one's a purple one with a hood. Fleece. Our buy sell trade stores love those. This is another NASA, but this one's like galaxy print. Is it a full zip? Yeah. Full zip. I don't even know this brand. Eh. I don't know. Size small. Hood. It's vented in the back. It's got that swishy material. I like it. What do we have here? Oh, a Steve Madden new tags scarf. I like new tag scarves from the bins, so I grabbed it. These are Adidas size medium, like those joggers, whatever they're called. Just the use things <laughs> in a size medium. Ooh, this one I think I'm gonna wear for a while. The tag was ripped out, but you can tell what it is. Ralph Lauren. Warren Ralph Lauren. It's a boxy striped sweater. The tag was ripped out. And I think it's a large, but we never know. These are gonna be way too short on my arms, so I'm gonna have to, you know, scrunch them up. And they'll look like a designer inmate. Just kidding. I think inmates are in orange. Who knows? This is St. John Collection skirt size 8 and it's the Santana knit navy skirt. Just a knee length. Nothing too crazy. Skirt. Next, we have a Calvin Klein Performance size medium puffer jacket. It's like a long line one, and it also has like ribbed sleeves. The sleeves need some sweater shaving, but ain't no thing chicken wing. Another thread up item. This one too. This is another, I think I got this brand. I don't know, the last time or the time. Oh no, I thought this was mini Bowden. This is Columbia Omni Heat, which is this, which is expensive. So this is kids, size small coat. This will keep you warm, kiddo. Yeah. Here's some more jeans. These are top man, uh, 34 length. I wonder what the waist is. Oh, 34 long, probably is what it means. Button fly. These will go to the consignment. And they've got a distressed and a cuffed little uh, cuffed. What is that? Leg. Mm hmm. It's not a day at the bins without Athleta. These are a size zero. Little pants, joggers. They're that swishy material again. And they have pockets on the back. Oh my goodness. Okay, I normally would have left this uh, Columbia. I have a hair stuck in my glasses. I would have normally left this Columbia there, but I picked it up because of the size. 
and I'm going to send it to Freda. It's a 2X, 2X Columbia jacket. So off to Thread Up it goes. Oh my word. Okay, next, this one's new in tags. It'll also go to Thread Up. It's Tahari, T Tahari, which is like the cheapest line, but this one's new in tags for 78. Ellie Tahari is the most expensive there. But it has like these little buttons on the side, dolman sleeve, turtleneck sweater. These are a Nike fit size 38 men's shorts. Again, I'll just buy, sell, trade these. Okay. Ooh, I feel like people are looking for these. This is the Ralph Lauren blue tag, which isn't crazy size medium, but this print is, I believe, sought after. So I don't know. I guess I'll find out <laughs> when I list it. We have a Prana size medium long line jacket. It does have all the buttons, just not buttoned up. I did a better job at checking everything this time as opposed to past times. Okay, this is a Marmot size large. I'm going to see if Jeremy wants this. It's just a polo. It's so breathable. Look, you can see me. Hello. Breathable polo. Perfect for summer. If he doesn't want it, uh, then I'll just list it. 25 bucks free shipping or something. Ooh, this is silk. And this is a Garnet Hill size 10. Silk dress. Look at how cute. I think this will sell for, I don't know, 40 plus. That's exciting. I like picking up Garnet Hill. Okay, I have a couple more things. These are the same thing. I don't remember the brand. <laughs> Airy, size medium. So they're both Airy size medium, one maroon, one black. I found the maroon one first. I figured if I find another one, I'll keep it. And then I found this one. So I'll list those together. And then this is a Vineyard Vines, if you can read that. Size large. Again, a half zip pullover it says Vineyard Vines here. Has the whale guy on the back. Okay, and the last thing is going to consignment. And if you're easily offended, thank you for watching. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video. If not, um, I'm going to show you this. <laughs> it doesn't have a brand, right? No, it doesn't have a brand. It just has a tag on the inside that says large. Okay, here is the shirt. <laughs> oh, I couldn't leave this in the van. This is so funny. Anyways, I'm going to send that to my consignment where they sell quirky stuff all the time. They're going to love that shirt. I laughed out loud when I found that and I couldn't leave it in the bin. But anyways, that was everything that I got for $116.22. Let's count my items. We'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I'm surrounded by all of the goodness from this bin haul. And I got 75 items divided by my total. And that makes $1.55 per item. Yay! That's amazing. <laughs> and that's why I love the bins. If you guys made it all the way through, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy bins hauls, consider subscribing if you're not already. Definitely hit the thumbs up before you go, but don't forget to stay weird. Bye guys.